to my channel and for today's video i am going to be doing a ulta haul slash doing my makeup so i'm going to be showing you guys some new products that i picked up from ulta and if you want to see how i came up with this look and what all i used on my face then make sure you keep on watching the video and let's just get straight into the video okay i just want to apologize right now for whenever I'm trying to talk and y'all may hear a dog barking in the background. I have no control over this dog. Um, it is outside and the dog will continuously bark until someone lets him in the house. So I do apologize for that. And right now I just don't have time to try and get my mic situation set up. So we're just gonna jump right into the video as planned. And your girl went to Ulta and got some goodies. We got some goodies. So as you already can tell, I have my brows on because I don't have anything bra related in this bag. But I just want to show you guys some things that I got from Ulta. So I guess, um, Maybe like as I'm going through my makeup, I can show you guys everything that I got. But I did wanna try like some new makeup on my channel because I know I am always using the same makeup over and over again. And I have to try new things out so that you guys can know what to go out and buy. Okay, so everything is out of the bag. And the first thing I'm going to show you guys because I do need to use this for the next step. Um, I purchased the, I guess it's the MX Ariel um soft scope signature sponge collab and it's just this pretty blue color so this is the sponge that i picked up and let me actually go ahead and wet it because we don't do the dry sponges over here so we got the beauty blender all cleaned and ready to go yes got the beauty blender wet so I picked up two different foundations from Ulta and I actually picked, trying to find the other one, where did it go? Oh, right here in my face. So I actually picked up two foundations. I never tried the Morphe Filter FX Soft Focus Foundation before. This is the packaging. And I got the shade Filter Rich 27. I did do like a swatch test inside of Ulta and then really quickly I kind of did like a shade match on their website um, just using a foundation that I had to make sure it wasn't open but I actually um, use the shade matcher that they have on the Ulta app and I used that and I um, matched myself to a shade that I already have. Let me make sure I actually chose the right shade though. Okay, I did. So um, I based it off of my NYX Mahogany um, foundation shade. So on the back it says filter effect, soft focus foundation, medium to full coverage. This is what the packaging looks like. Super cute, sheer glass bottle. And then I also picked up the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Blur um, Foundation. This is in the shade Warm Caramel. And this is medium coverage. It's a matte blur finish. It's a blur and tint foundation. So this is what that looks like. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be like a tint or actual foundation. So I guess we will see whenever I decide um, out of the two, which one I am going to use today. Um, but let's go ahead and conceal our eyes because I want to go and start on the eyes first. And then I got some new palettes as well. So I'm just going to take my sponge and kind of blend it out. So immediately 
I recommend this sponge. It is super soft, super pouncy. And I don't know if you guys saw how fast it blended out that concealer. So I definitely will be going to get another one of these. And this was only $10. I believe Morphe has like just a regular one as well. And I think the only difference between this one and the the regular Morphe um, sponge is I think the other one is like a brown color. And they're both $10. So I really like this a lot. It's $10 cheaper than the actual beauty blender. But I must say, I really like this so far. So I definitely will be going back to grab another one of these to have in the stash. So before we move on, I am going to apply some primer. I'm going to go in with my NARS Soft Matte Primer. And don't mind the hair, I'm going to like take it down. Once I am done, I just didn't want it in the way while trying to do my makeup. So next up, um that i purchased from ulta i picked up two palettes i picked up the morphe 18w natural wonder palette um so it was a couple of shades in this palette that i've seen that i felt like you know what i think i need to get my hands on this palette I'm trying to find something to open this with because i'm not trying to cut myself so this is how the palette looks super cute super fun and then here are the shades so i was drawn to the fact that it has a mixture of mattes and then it also has a mixture of shimmers but it also has like a cool side and then it has a warm side as well so i like that about the palette so next up i picked up this 35u gilded desert palette and I don't know if the two girls I seen on the picture are the face of this palette, but this has 35 bronze and brilliant shades. Um, so this is what the palette looks like. And like, I literally just went at Ulta and I was like, I want to pick up things that I've never seen before and that are new to me. I didn't want to pick up anything that was like old and just you know so again this is the palette and I really like that Ulta have affordable palettes I believe let me check my receipt so this palette right here was $20 um and but keep in mind so i did have a gift card and then i also had a lot of points that i could use towards my purchase so i really didn't come out of pocket a lot for for these things that i got but yeah this palette was 20 dollars. but i feel like that's a good deal for it to have i think it's 18 shades um so i think that's pretty neat and then this palette right here was 27 dollars. but again you get 35 shades and they are so freaking pretty. And so I'm actually super excited to try this palette out as well. And so I guess now the big thing is which palette am I going to use? I think I'm going to go in with this um, Gilded Desert palette because when I was inside of Ulta, I was actually drawn to this brown shade, but it also has like some shimmer in it. I don't know if the camera is really picking it up that well, but I think I want to go in with this palette. And again, this was $27. I did use my points on it and my gift card. Um, So, I paid 2213 for it. It took off $4.87. So I really think this is affordable for it to have 35 shades. And if you are someone that are like that's a beginner when it comes to makeup, this palette has all types of neutral colors in it. Fun, safe shades to play with. 
um if you go out of town this is something that you can just throw into your bag i know it's pretty big so maybe like um i guess it's a big palette but i feel like you would only need this so you don't have to bring multiple different palettes you don't have to bring a little one a small one and being that some of these shades have shimmer in it you can use it as highlight as well so um it's just less things you can you have to take with you by taking this big uh palette but i do think this is super neat um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and start with the makeup look um i don't know exactly what i'm going to do so we're just gonna go with the flow and it's like a lot of colors in here to choose from like i said i don't know if my camera is picking it up that great so i'll like try to pop the shades up on the screen okay so let's do our first transition shade okay i'm gonna go in with cocoa dust So next up, I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with the shade Dune Buggy and it's like this burnt orange color. Yeah. Look how they looking at me. I think they influenced by me. They say they not fucking with me. All right. Wish how they looking at me. She want me to slide for the flame. So next up, I am going to go in with another brown shade. Uh, I believe you say it like Kalari. I'm going to go in with that shade. My sauce been writing me sauce since 48 key drop. Tell me when to go, how you think I finna stop? I be protecting my inner child. You could keep all of that distance. They be hating on me because they see I'm gifted. It's often the soil you should 3D print it. I be doing me like I got a blink check. I be decking shade for the love and respect. Wanna touch stage cross seas on me? No drama more flex. Next year's looking lit. I'm laid up in somebody grass. I'm burning the gas to my last breath. Life is so fragile, enjoying the roses so high you can't see me. I'm seated. She wanna beat me. So I'm going to go back in with that orange because I do think it kind of got lost a little bit. And it might show up, it might not. We're going to see. And then I'm going to go back in Cocoa Dust just to kind of like bring it all together. So I am going to kind of like place a bone shade shade color which in this palette is called in the dust and i'm just gonna put that on my lid to kind of set the base for the glitter so i'm probably going to use my fingers because i find that my fingers kind of work a little better with these eyeshadows so, what do I want to do today? Let's go in with Lustrous Life. Is that what I want to use? Let's see. I'm probably going to have to use another palette with a mirror because my mirror is a little far. They say whatever team that win. I say cool because it's going to be whichever one I'm So I'm going to take my brush and see if it kind of helps a little bit too, just to see if I can use a brush. So I believe you can use a brush. Um, it'll probably cause a little bit more fallout. So. I like that. Um, I am using my Morphe M167 brush if you are curious to the type of brush I am using. Um, I think I want to try to like go on top of that with another shadow. So I'm going to go in full of flash. So. 
I like that a lot. Um, I'm going to clean up under my brows. I mean, not under my brows. I'm going to clean up under my eyes from like some of the fallout. And then I am going to kind of go in with a little bit more of the chocolate color to like deepen my crease up a little bit. So next up, let's move on to lashes. So I picked up another pair of Juvia's Place lashes and I don't know if I am going to be able to pronounce this as of right now. I'll put it on the screen because clearly the last time I think I told you the lashes were called Laria, but they're definitely called Zaria, I believe. So these are, oh wow, I never noticed this on her. Um her lashes so on the bottom of them they have like if they are day and night time appropriate so on both of my Zaria and Biba they have day and night glam and then on these they have night glam so I picked up these lashes in this style and then I'll open it up so you can see both So I am going I am going to apply these lashes and then I will be right back. So immediately yes. And I had to look this up. So the name of these lashes are Aziza. I think that's how you say it. I need to go get some more of these because all of my lashes so far I am well I am in love with Zaria and now I'm in love with Aziza. Uh, I need to try Biba out. Um, I did. I was going to wear them over the weekend, but it wasn't like going with the eyeshadow look that I had going on, which I really didn't care for. But, yo, these lashes. Chef's kiss. Um, so let's move on to. Let me think. Let me think. OK, so we're going to move on to foundation. So do I want to use the Morphe or do I want to use the blur? So, okay, I think I'm going to use the Morphe because it's medium to full coverage and I just kind of want to go a little extra today. So I'm going to shake this up and like I said, I did do a swatch test on my hand when I was in the store, but you know, sometimes that can change. Um... But we're going to see. We're going to hope for the best. I need to wipe this eyeshadow off the back of my hand so I can put some pump on the back. So moving on, like I said, I'm going to use the Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. And I picked this up in the shade Filter Rich 27. So I'm just going to go in with some few pumps on the back of my hand. Um, and like I said, this is medium to full coverage. I'm going to take my brush. Problem solving in the universe working itself out. So I'm actually going to take my brush and kind of take a little bit of the uh, foundation and like go around my brows really quick. Not going to lie though, this foundation stinks. So I'm going to use my phone really quick to kind of see the vibe of this foundation. Yeah, so we're going to move on to concealer. I didn't pick up any new concealer because I just didn't have time and I didn't. Um, I, I, I kept getting distracted while I was trying to look for shades and stuff. So we're just going to move on. I'm gonna go ahead and add our contour and I'm gonna take the other side of the beauty blender and blend out the concealer
God when I honor you. You honor God when you honor me. If you don't honor God, how could you honor me? Honor me. Then I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my powder and remember to wipe the excess on the back of your hand. And clearly I still had a lot on there. And so I'm gonna buff out the concealer. From the past to future play more change, yeah. My emotions are valid, but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind. So now let's move on to mascara. I'm gonna add some to the top and lower lashes. Before I do that though, I'm gonna go back into this palette and I'm gonna add those dark shades that I used in my crease on my bottom lashes as well. So let's move on to highlight. So I didn't buy any highlighter, so I'm gonna just use what I got. And I'm going to use some blush that I have as well. Ooh, I think I want to do that. So I'm going to go in with my NAR, NARS. Yeah, my NARS Taj Mahal blush. It's not to be triggered every time. Never mind. It's just like. And then I'm going to go in with this DLS bronzer and skinny dip, but I'm going to use it as a highlighter. So, I think I need to add liner as well. So, I am going to use my Kat Von D liner if I can find it. Okay, so let's set the face. I am going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then last, I'm going to go in with, well, for a setting spray, I'm going to go in with my Hydro uh, Grip Setting Spray. So, for lips... I picked up um I picked up a MAC pencil. Um I have cork, but I also picked up the shade chestnut because I just wanted to see how the brown looked on this one. So I think I want to go in with my Juvia's Place lip shade in the color Bronzed Sugar. First of all, this smells so freaking good. Like it smells like a cookie. So I don't think that is what that is for. I think it's more like a gloss. So I'm going to take my Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Nubian Sand. And then I'm also going to go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. So I'm going to go back in with the chestnut shade. And then I am going to go over that. I think, yeah, so I also picked up a MAC Lip Glass Lip Gloss. And surprisingly, it was pretty affordable. I think it was $12 for this lip gloss. And this is what that looks like. And I'm just going to put that on top. And just to be extra, I'm going to go in with my NYX um, gloss as well. So... 
So let me take my hair down and then I'll be right back. <laughs> So you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy trying out some new products that I picked up from Ulta. Um, let's see, so far, I love everything that I use, like literally, even the foundation, even though uh, I was unsure on whether or not it's my color or not, and I still do think I can get a shade lighter. Um, but you know once you add all of your other products like concealer and stuff like that that you are using to like highlight certain areas it kind of brings the look together so i think that i can keep the foundation is doable but i still will try um a shade lighter just to see and make sure you know i'm not tripping and if i am i can just take it back if not then i'll keep both of the foundations because we already know that summer is coming and our skin tones get a little darker in the summertime so that might be a good shade to keep so i am in love with this look i loved everything like i said i'm definitely going to go back and get um another one of those beauty sponges i am going to get another pair of those lashes because i think they are super super cute um it definitely enhanced the look a lot and everything else that i got like literally perfect so i do know i didn't show i don't think i showed that i picked up this nyx um wonder stick and so it's a concealer and a highlighter on one so i think my next video i will go and use um i will use the blur foundation with the nyx stick just to see how that looks it just depends on if this is like an actual like tint foundation or is an actual foundation not really sure um something else i picked up from ulta as well was this sweet like candy ariana grande perfume rollerball um i just wanted to grab a perfume and when i saw sweet like candy i was so so i just threw it in my basket it wasn't really something that i went in there looking for um besides that I think I pretty much showed you guys everything that I picked up from Ulta. So if you guys want me to do more hauls like this where I go and pick up some new items and then try it in a video for you guys, definitely let me know. And I actually want to check my receipt to make sure I showed you guys everything. So yeah, I believe I showed you guys everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you leave me a comment down below so that I can interact with you guys. Make sure you turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And make sure you share this video so that we can grow this channel into an even bigger one. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.